Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Solution from here. What is given here? Label this as equation one and this as equation two. And from equation one, we can make y the subject by taking x to the other side. This here we have y equals to 10 minus x. Here we can label this as equation 3. Then also, what we have in equation 2, which is x times y equals to 10. We substitute the value of y, which is in equation 3 here. And this here, this becomes x times 10 minus x. Close brackets, then equals to 10 here. Then when we open this bracket, this becomes 10x minus x square equals to 10. And next step here, when we rearrange this, we have minus x square plus 10x. Then we can take 10 to this side as well become minus 10, then equals to 0 here. And next step here. We multiply through by minus 1 so as to remove this minus. Minus times minus give us plus, so we have x squared. Then plus times minus, we have minus 10x. Then this also becomes plus 10, then equals to 0 here. And next step, here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 10 and c equals to 10 and applying the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a what we have here becomes x equals to minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of Minus 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10, then over 2 times 1. Then this here gives us x equals to minus times minus, that's plus. So this gives us 10 and plus or minus square root of 10 squared, that's 100. Then minus 4 times 1 times 10 give us 40. Then over 2 times 1 here give us 2. That is here. This becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 40 give us 60. Then over 2 here. That is next step here. We have x equals to 10 plus or minus 60 can be written as root 4 times 15 over 2. And also we separate this into two roots. And we have root 4 as 2, we take it out. So here we have x equals to 10 plus or minus 2 root 15 now. Then over 2 here. And 2 is common here. This it can write that x equals to 2 into brackets 5 plus or minus root 15, then over 2 here. That is 2 here cancelled each other, and we have x equals to 5 plus or minus root 15 here. So, which implies we have two possible values of x that is x1 equals to 5 plus root 15 then also x2 equals to 5 minus root 15 that is you can get the corresponding value of y using the equation 3 which is y equals to 10 minus x that is here y1 will then be equals to 10 
minus x1 which is 5 plus root 15 then here minus open this bracket and y1 here now equals to 10 minus 5 minus root 15 then y1 equals to 10 minus 5 that's 5 minus root 15 so here the first set of solution which is x1 comma y1 is now equals to x1 that's 5 plus root 15 then comma y1 which is 5 minus root 15 then also on the second case here get the corresponding value of y2 so y2 here using this in relation is now equals to 10 minus x2 which is 5 minus root 15 then here minus also open bracket we have y now y2 now equals to 10 minus 5 then plus root 15 that is y2 equals to 10 minus 5 that's 5 then plus root 15 so the second set of solution here which is x2 comma y2 is now equals to x2 that's 5 minus root 15 and comma y2 we have 5 plus root 15 so here we have these two sets of solutions now when we look at this the value of x here same thing as the value of y here and the value of y here same thing as the value of x here now let's run the check for this to check if this satisfies the given problem from what we have in equation one which is x plus y equals to 10. yeah when we substitute we can make use of the first set of solution here this x here we have 5 plus root 15 then plus y which is 5 minus root 15 is it equals to 10 on this side that is here plus 15 minus plus root 15 minus root 15 this cancelled each other that is we are left with 5 plus 5 and is it equals to 10 here of course 5 plus 5 is 10 which is equals to 10 on this side left hand side equals to right hand side hence this solution here satisfies the first equation here then let's check for the second equation as well which is x tends y equals to 10. now here when we substitute the value of x and y um, from what we have which is x times y equals to 10 that is yeah x plus 5 plus root 15 in times y which is 5 minus root 15 then is it equals to 10 on this side now from here when we have something like a plus b into bracket open bracket a minus b this is equals to a square minus b square which is difference of two squares that is this follows this pattern and we can write this as 5 square minus root 15 squared then is it equals to 10 here 5 squared gives us 25 then minus root 15 square square can be square root this gives us 15 is it equals to 10 here and of course 25 minus 15 is 10 which is equals to 10 left hand side equals to the right hand side and hence also this solution set satisfies the equation 2 therefore here we have this set of solutions in this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos also join our membership package and like this video give your thumbs up share it put your comments and thank you see you next class and bye for now